Hey guys, my name's Chip and welcome to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. I managed to get early access to the DLC. Um, I was lucky. It is on there, you just have to be able to find it. Now, I didn't do this on multiplayer because the cars aren't actually available on multiplayer yet, um, but they are on single player. Also on single player, you do get them free of charge. They're just delivered to your garage in, I think it's a Pinewood garage. If it's on single player, you'll get all of the DLC free of charge. Um, the well, you get all of the cars charged. They're all delivered to your garage for you. The first thing you is the Alpha, which is nice. Car. It looks quite it should be like a businessman's car, uh, something like that. Um, it's it's okay. It's decent. Obviously, it's new, so it's all shiny, and everyone gets really excited about the new cars. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. It's not really that manoeuvrable, but it's okay. And again, with it being on the single on the uh, single player, it is free of charge. Um, the next car we're getting to, you'll see on the screen in a moment, is the Jester. Now, we start off with the Alpha, which is okay. I don't mind it. It's not a bad car, but it's nothing to really write to you know nothing to write home about. But then we get the Jester. The Jester's better. I think it's quicker. I think it's more manoeuvrable, and I think it's a lot of fun. Um, it's definitely an improvement on the Alpha. Uh, the way it looks, especially, it looks very, very nice. Uh, it's a pretty cool-looking car. As I say, it is pretty manoeuvrable. Uh, it is pretty quick, and I do like this a lot more. I must admit, uh, the Alpha's okay. But if I was going to spend money on it on multiplayer, I probably wouldn't bother with the Alpha, just because it's it's just not really worth the money. I, I'm assuming they are going to charge for it on uh, single player, I'm told they are, sorry on multiplayer, I'm told they are going to be charging. So if I was going to choose, I wouldn't choose the Alpha, the Jester is a car, I would choose. It is pretty quick, as I say it's manoeuvrable, it's pretty lightweight as well. So when you get going in it, and it does go a bit, uh, once you get going in it, it's pretty quick. I mean top end is quick, bottom end it's, it's not the best. It's, it's it's not bad. I mean, if I was going to rate it, I'd put the Alpha at probably 6 out of 10. I'd put the the Jester, I'd probably put that maybe a 7.5, pushing on 8, because it is new. I'm going to, you know, I'm getting a little bit excited about it. It's okay, as I say, it's not a bad car. But then we move on to the Turismo. Now, the Turismo is amazing. Absolutely love this car. It looks great. It handles great, it's fast, it's manoeuvrable. I mean, it just ticks all the boxes. Out of all the cars I've seen so far in GTA 5, right at this moment, this for me is probably the most fun. I mean, just look at it. It looks amazing, it really does look like an incredible car. Now, I've managed to get my friend XPG Internet, he's bringing it online for me and we're going to do the modifications on it. That's going to be in the next video. Um, so make sure you subscribe if you do want to see this car maxed out and looking crazy. It is so good, guys. You'll love this car. I'm going to give this a 9.5, so 9.5 out of 10. Because there's always got to be room for improvement on cars. But this is as close as it gets. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure if you are excited about this DLC. It's really good. And I'll catch you on the next video.